What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at another real SQL interview question asked by Amazon. Let's get into it. So this one's called Total Cost of Orders and hosted on stratuscratch.com. It has the ID 10183 and the task says to find the total cost of each customer's orders. Output customer's ID, first name and the total order cost and then order records by customer's first name alphabetically. We have two tables, one called customers and one called orders. We can preview them by hitting the preview button here and we're going to see that some have missing addresses but that shouldn't really matter because we should just output customer ID, first name, total order cost and that information is also found in orders. Order cost is probably what we're going to look at to calculate the total order cost. We're just going to sum that up pretty much and Apart from that, it looks quite straightforward. It's marked as easy overall. Let's take a look at the expected output. It should just be these three columns, ID, first name, and sum, and it's ordered by the customer's first name alphabetically. So in ascending order, so to say. Another thing that you need to make sure is to use order cost here, since order quantity apparently doesn't affect order cost. Let's take a look at Farida ID3 with a sum of 260 and if we look up cost ID3 here we have cost of 180 and if order quantity would be multiplied with order cost it would already be 400 and the entire sum is 260. So just to clear that up we're looking at order cost. Order cost describes the cost of the entire order and not of just one item. Anyways we're gonna start out by Writing up some code, starting with our select statement to just get these fields. So we want customer ID, first name, and total order cost. Customer ID can be found in, well, customer's ID or cost ID in orders. We can choose any of these. Let's go with cost ID just because it reads better. And we want first name in there which can be found in customers and then total order cost is going to be the sum of order cost. So we're going to type in sum order cost. We don't need to give it another name. So it's just called sum. It's going to be called sum automatically if we use the sum function. So nothing to do here. And we're selecting that from customers and some information is in order. So we need to join these tables by using the join keyword and we're joining on customer ID. So ID in customers and cost ID in orders. Pretty straightforward just because the customer is the main element here making orders. Order cost ID. Okay, then in order to calculate the sum per customer and not for the entire table, we need to group by the customer ID and that way we're just going to calculate that sum per customer. Now we're also going to add first name just because it's a restriction in PostgreSQL to group by all non-aggregate functions because I really want to include cust ID here because what could happen is that first name can appear twice. People can have this first, the same first name, which yeah, can appear quite often. So it's important that we have custom ID in here, otherwise we could make mistakes and uh, actually sum up orders per first name and not per customer. So all that's left to do now is to order by the customer's first name alphabetically. So we're going to use first name and Alphabetically means ascendingly, so the smallest letter comes first, smallest letter being A and uh, highest letter being Z. So that should work. Let's just make sure we don't need to specify any of these table names. Cust ID only appears in orders, so we don't need to specify it's in orders. We have first name, which is only in customers, and order cost is only in orders again. So that looks good. Let's run that to see if it's accepted. 
it looks similar to the expected output. Expected output only has the first five rows, which is yeah, why we have a bit more here. Let's check the solution. It is correct. Now that's already it for that problem. It's probably going to be one that helps you ease into the interview, which you can expect at one of the first technical screens or just ask the first question in your technical screen because it just requires you to join and then to sum up. It would be more complicated if it was a left join, but in this case, I don't think that's required. We could use a left join to calculate the sum as zero if someone didn't make any orders, but apparently that's not part of the question here. Could be a follow-up in your interviews though. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe or just check out the playlist I made for each of these problems on this platform called stratusfresh.com. If you want to work on these problems, just follow the link in the description. I have a sponsored link to stratusfresh.com which you can use to just work on these problems or sign up for membership and you're able to support the channel this way. That's going to be it for me today. See you all next time. Bye.